Hi, my name's Chris and I'm from the Green Feathers team and today we're going to show you how to set up our very popular Wi-Fi bird box camera. Uh, we've already partly removed the packaging on this one, so um, if you've watched our previous uh, introduction video then you'll have seen a lot of this already. Um, but I'm just going to take out the various components that you do get. Uh, first and foremost, you get the instruction manual. In here are links to all of our videos and also a really, really succinct way of setting up the uh, camera using your phone. Um, so if you can't follow the video, obviously you refer back to the guide in there. Um, it's a slightly, today we're going to go through a slightly shortened version, um, but that won't uh, make any difference if you're using the guide in there. Uh, here's the brackets for the camera. Uh, again, I'm not going to go through those today on how you screw them in. They're fairly self-evident, and if you have any issues, do give us a little ring. Uh, thirdly, we've got our power supply. Uh, this comes with three meters included. Um, if you wish to extend that, we do extension needs. Uh, this one here that I have is five meters, uh, but we also do a 10 and a 20 meter cable. So if, you, if your camera's further down the garden and you've got power from say your garage or your conservatory, then one of these is really handy just to extend that out. But we're not gonna need that today, I'm already set up here. Um, first thing I'm gonna do, once I've got the camera out, get rid of the packaging, is I'm just gonna pop the lens cap off. Um, you wouldn't believe how many people don't do that. So to get the best out of your camera, um, it has an, a micro SD slot so that you can record straight onto the camera. Uh, this appears on the bottom of the camera itself. In order to insert it, you just gotta make sure it's the right way around. It's actually the words towards the back of the camera. When you're inserting it, just make sure you don't slip it in behind the, the SD card slot. Um, and you'll notice the right way around because it will bounce against the spring inside. And you just use your nail just to click it into place. What you do need to do is make sure you insert the micro card before booting up the camera, otherwise the camera won't rec recognise it. Once you've put the micro card in, just boot the camera up as usual. And that simply goes plugged straight in. You just have to give it a good firm push and make sure it seals. Uh, around the base of the uh, power supply input, uh, it is quite a tight fit, so if it's really, really cold, you may just need to push really hard to make sure that goes in. Uh, whilst we're chatting, the camera's now booting up. Um, it takes about somewhere between 15 and 30 seconds for it to boot up. Um, and at the point at which it's finally um, got through that process, it will click and you'll hear it. You may even hear it as we're chatting. Um, just on the camera, a couple of little pointers. Um, here is the Wi-Fi aerial. When you're installing your camera in your box, if you can try and keep that as upright as possible, that helps an awful lot with the power of the camera and how far it will transmit. I don't know if you heard that, but um, just then the camera clicked. So we're ready to go on to sort of stage two, if you like, of the setup. The first thing we need to do is download the correct application. Um, to do that, we go to our app store. Um, if you're on an Android, obviously you'll need to go to your Google store. So you go to search and type in XMI and that comes up. The first one that we want, uh, not the preview one, we just want the open. Now I've already downloaded this because I've, uh, I, yeah, because I did this prior to doing it, but uh, at that point you'll Either use your finger to download the application or add in your password and you'll be able to download it to your phone. And mine's already here on the screen. Okay, so now we've got the application, we need to connect to the camera. Um, so click on our settings. And again, I've already in the Wi-Fi part of my camera. Just so that you know where that is, we go into settings. This is your normal screen. We click on Wi-Fi, which is how you connect to different networks. And in that list there, you'll see BEYE, which is the uh, prefix to the camera, and then usually you have a random set of numbers and letters at the end. Um, now what we're doing at the moment is gonna connect directly to the camera. Uh, this is called a point-to-point -point connection where your phone is uh, actually connecting directly to the Wi-Fi signal of the, f of the camera itself. Now at this point you won't be able to surf the internet using your Wi-Fi, you'll actually be on the phone uh, directly connected to the camera. Um, but what this allows us to do is then uh, make sure that we found the camera on the network and check that it's there. At this point you can double click the button on the camera and what that does is it, uh, it asks the camera to start to look for your phone but on the Wi-Fi. So um, now what we need to do is make sure that we connect into, so you'll see the, the BEYE is now dropped off the list, which is good, that's what it should do. And weirdly, my phone is automatically connecting into our network here at work. 
Um, now, what you will notice is I've got Open 24-7 2G. Uh, we also have a 5G network here uh, in, our, in our building and also ha an awful lot of customers also have both a 2 and a 5G network. You must, and it's absolutely critical that you connect to the 2G network. Uh, it won't work on 5G. Now, once it's on there, we now go to the XMI app and we connect using the orange screen. We go to add camera. Uh, we go to quick configuration on the iPhone. Uh, on the Android device, it, it does say something slightly different. And um, we're just gonna show you a screenshot of that. Uh, but essentially it's the second button. It's the button on the right hand side there. Click on quick configuration. And you'll see I've already pre-filled our password, uh, which is probably smoked out for you, but um, you can see that the details are in there. So if they're not for your home network, you'll just need to put in your um, SSID and your password and then click on connect. Now, any prompts that you get, this is really, really important. Any prompts that you get while setting this up, please click yes or accept or okay. Um, otherwise, uh, you're basically denying um, access to the camera. Uh, so now what it does is it goes through a countdown where it's now looking for the camera, trying to find it within the network. So we're just going to wait whilst that counts down. Okay, now it's appeared. So that's showing the camera. What we need to do is just click on it. It now selects the camera. We click OK. So now everything's in the device list. To connect to the camera, all we do is click on the, uh, the series of letters and numbers. That will show you the camera connecting to the camera. But there it is. Now, one of the most popular questions we get uh, at this juncture, just in a simple setup, is how do I allow other people to see my device? So if you're watching birds, um, or if you've got this camera on a bird table or something like that, or using one of our other cameras that uses this software, um, you can share that by simply giving them the um, the identification number of the camera. There's a couple of ways to do that. Uh, first of all, we can go to Home, and we can go to About on the menus there, and you'll see a QR code. And now if your friend or family member or whoever downloads the application, they can scan that code and that will add it to their phone. Secondly, you'll notice the serial number. You can take a note of that, and that will also allow you to add the device to their phone. Another place you can find it is if you go all the way back. Um, it is also the same here as well, that long number. If you give that to anyone, they'll be able to add that to their um, mobile phone or the software. So that's essentially how you set it on your mobile phone device and also on uh, other devices. Uh, that's been me, Chris, and I uh, hope you enjoy using your Wi-Fi bird box camera and the setup goes as smooth as it is for us today. Thanks very much for listening. We'll see you next time.